Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about all things trench coats. Trench coats are one of my most worn items at this time of year and also during like spring. So basically in those in between weather months. Um, so I do have quite a few of them and I wanted to basically show you all of them and this video is definitely not to say you need this trench coat, this trench coat and this trench coat in, all in your wardrobe because that's definitely not the case and I do have a weird obsession slash collection of them um, but it's more to just kind of show you what kind of trench coats are out there so that you can look at all the differences and see what you prefer basically or if you did want to buy them all then go ahead. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I'm just going to talk you through them all. I'll also insert clips of me trying them on just here um, and so that you can just see the way that they fit and how I would style each individual jacket. So let's start with this one. I got this one last year um, from a brand called Second Female. Um, I don't know if you can see that label. It's a very, very cool brand. I have a feeling it's a Danish brand. Um, that might be wrong, but I think it's a Danish brand. It's definitely slightly more expensive than what I would usually go for, but that is definitely reflected in the quality of the jacket. So this is more of a warmer tone camel than I would normally go for, but I actually really like it. So I spent half my time talking about how I don't like wearing warm tone colours, um, but I actually do really like this one. This is a, also a very like slouchy kind of jacket. The rest of mine are quite crisp. This is yeah very kind of casual and slouchy. This is definitely not a kind of jacket that you wear to keep you dry in the rain. This is definitely like a um, fashion statement coat. Um, it's that kind of like blazer material, if you get me, but it's also very heavy. I love the way that the fabric falls. I love the way that the, the jacket doesn't crease at all, which makes it very easy to wear. Um, I actually wore this jacket for a whole flight to Paris and when I got off, um, there was literally no creases in the jacket. So it's really, really good in that way. But as I said, it's not waterproof. Um, the sleeves are fully lined, which I think is really, really nice. It's incredibly soft. So you can get away with wearing this with um, like nothing underneath it. Well, not nothing underneath it, you know what I mean? No sleeves on. And, um, so yeah, really like that one. I'm not sure whether second female have bought this one out again this year but if they have then i'll obviously link it down below and if not then i'll link a similar kind of jacket um one that's in this kind of fabric next up is this one from h m so you can see the vast difference in the color this is such a more cool tone beige which is what i love i just think that that is a better color on me um this is like one of those kind of crisp trench coats it does crease easily which is the downside to this jacket but i think this is the more kind of um classic feel of a trench coat this one is from h&m they bring one out similar to this every year it's the more expensive one so i think this is the one that's about like 70 pounds they did bring one out which was about 30 which i was like oh my god amazing and i bought it because i just wanted to kind of see what it was like to show you lot and I actually hated it. The colour was just so pinky. So um, yeah, I sent that back and I don't think I've even shown it to you. But this one is great. This is a really nice colour in my opinion. Um, and it's got so many details that are just so classic of a trench coat. But at the same time, it's not too classic. It's quite oversized, slouchy, my kind of style basically. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Also, the buttons are really nice. They're kind of tortoise shell. Something I always look at on a jacket is what the buttons look like because I think that can either make or break an outfit and make it look basically cheap and nasty. Next up is this dark grey one, which is from Topshop. I adore the shape of this jacket. It's, again, that very slouchy trench coat um, kind of vibe, which I really, really like. Um, it's that blazer material again, but this one from Topshop is... I'm going to go ahead and say better quality than the second female one, even though it's probably a fraction of the price. In fact, it definitely is a fraction of the price. Um, I've got this one in a size six because it does come up oversized and this is absolutely perfect for me. Um, I just, it's actually broken. It needs just a quick stitch there to keep that in place. But I really, really like the colour of this to start with creams and blacks. Um, I think it's just a little bit different um, and it's perfect for this time of year when you want to chuck on a jacket but you don't want to be too hot. Then next up I've got this Czech one from Topshop as well. This is really really similar 
to that dark grey one that I just showed but I got that one last year and this one this year but they're doing the dark grey one again if you um, do fancy the look of the dark grey one. This has got a navy blue lining which I really love but inside the check there is grey, black, navy and white. So you can kind of pair it with any colour. I've actually got a navy top on now and I think it looks really nice with that, although it's coming up quite black on the camera, isn't it? But yeah, it's navy. Um, I love every single detail of this jacket. I love the fact that you can pull the cuffs tight, so it almost gives the illusion of like a puff sleeve, which I think is really cool. Um, you've got this at the back, which somebody did tell me the name of in my last video and I've completely forgotten. <laughs> It's just got every kind of gorgeous detail which makes the jacket look so expensive. I love how it's split at the bottom quite high up so the movement in the jacket when you're walking is just spot on. Yeah, basically as you can probably tell this is my favourite trench coat. It's the one I've definitely been the most enthusiastic about. I've got this in a size 10 just because I didn't want it to look too officey. Although if that's the look you're going for, then this is perfect for that. But for me, obviously, I don't work in an office, so I wanted it to look a bit more casual. So I sized up for the more slouchy look. Um, and yeah, works really, really well. Like I said, just every detail on this jacket just makes it look so, so expensive. Next up, I've got this blue one from H&M. I actually would say that this is more of like a duster coat, if that's what it's called, um, than a trench coat, but I thought I'd include it in the video anyway. It's a very um, thin fabric. It's very kind of fluid, which I really, really like. It's just very casual. It's not lined at all. It's very lightweight. This is one of those jackets that I chuck on all the time just for like popping to Sainsbury's or whatever and it just looks so chic over loungewear with a pair of white trainers and stuff. Um, I love the sleeves, they've got a little um, like turn up thing with a tortoise shell button and I think this jacket was literally like 39 or something um, which obviously for a jacket is quite a good price. Um, again it's got the belt so that you can tie it up around the waist if you want to but I kind of just leave those hanging. I love the look of um, a belt just drooping at the back, I think it looks really cool. Um, and then it has got pockets, but um, are they still? Yeah, I've still got them stitched up, so I better unstitch them. But um, yeah, I really like it. It's split at the back as well, which I think makes it look really, really expensive. Again, gives it a really nice movement. Um, I think this is one of the jackets that HM bought out that's only available in store, which is quite annoying, but. Um, I have seen it in a few stores, so if you are on the lookout for that, maybe you can phone the store beforehand. I'll put the code down below, so that if you wanted to phone up a H&M store, I'm pretty sure you could probably do that, um, and find out if they've got it in stock before you go. And last but not least is this cropped trench coat that I picked up from Topshop the other day. I absolutely love the look of this. I've seen it uh, styled a few ways, but for me, I love wearing this with a very baggy outfit and it's very like COS vibes um, or like Arquette vibes. It's really, really good quality. It's a perfect colour for a trench coat, in my opinion. Not too warm, not too cool. Um, it's got a belt, so I really like actually tying this up because it's a cropped one. I just think it looks really cool. Um, it's got really nice, thick belt loops. Again, it's got tortoise shell buttons, which I really like. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and also it's got the tie up around the cuff that the check one had, which I think that's really cool. I've got a weird thing about loving when a jacket is tight on my wrist. Um, I find a baggy one really annoying. That is just like perfect, it looks really, really cool as well. Um, and again, gives that kind of look of a puff sleeve, which looks really cool. So that is the end of my trench coat collection. Let me know if you like to see videos like this so I can show you like my bag collection, my shoe collection, blazer collection, jeans collection, that kind of thing. Um, if that's something that you wanna see, then I can definitely do more videos like this and we can make a kind of um, series of them. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know down below if you enjoyed it. As usual, all of the jackets are gonna be linked down below in the description box. So if you did wanna shop anything that I've shown you, then do head down there to um, grab the links and I'll also make a note of the sizes that I wear down there as well. Please do subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I really, really appreciate any new subscribers and I'd love to get to 30K before the end of the year. So thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys again soon.